So, Birki and Jonas, thank you very much for joining in uh, for the short introduction for the minister for the um, Nordic Film des Lübeck um, pandemic edition BOD service platform. And um, maybe we just start with Jonas um, for a couple of words um, about the minister, what this show, like in your opinion, is about, how you did get on board, what you want to get. Um, across with this show to the audience, maybe just start, Jonas. Yeah. Um, so the minister tells the story of Benedict Rikarsson, um, an unorthodox politician uh, who is a professor of theology, but ultimately winds up becoming the prime minister of the Icelandic nation. Um, what we don't know from the very start, but uh, is revealed throughout the series is that he starts showing symptoms of bipolar mania. Uh, and as his symptoms worsen, uh, the decision he makes uh, in office become more spontaneous uh, and erratic and they're made on a whim. Uh, and as his political opponents and allies uh, start to realize uh, that he has this disease, they either use it for their own political gain or they try to hide it, the illness to, uh, uh, to ensure that their party or their power stays in office. Um, that's the sort of short version of what the series is about. Uh, but of course, the politics are kind of the setting for something that is much more of a personal family drama uh, as well uh, as we watch those around Benedict close to him that have to deal uh, uh, with his, his manic episode mm -hmm. uh, which of course is a horrifying difficult experience uh, for all those around him um, and that's what we're you know trying to portray really in the show mm -hmm. Okay, Does that makes sense. Yeah, it totally yeah. makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Sounds very. It's not the first time you you you're saying that, right? You thought about it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, BK, what was your approach to the show, or um, what was your main idea? What you want to yeah, get along or get across to the audience? Um, um, I think. I mean because it's a long story. I, I think we had a lot of ideas we wanted to get across, but I think one of the you know, core ideas is that we really wanted to create Benedict, our uh, protagonist. We wanted to create an um, um, idealist leader or you know, this political leader that you know, has big ideas and uh, rises to power and tries to reform the country or or, you know, uh, fight for his people. Mm -hmm. And he really cares about the Icelandic nation. And it's a type of a polit politician we haven't seen in a while, I think, at least in Iceland. Um, and you have to understand, I think that in Iceland, uh, people don't really trust politicians. The trust in parliament is really low. So we wanted to create this politician who people trust and people love and people, you know, get in touch with and like his ideas. And then slowly uh, having people see that his health deteriorates and he is mentally ill. Mm -hmm. um, so people start to question his ideas and policies. And at the same time, the system around him, you know, the other politicians, start to react to his deteriorating health mm -hmm. and maybe try to use it for their own gain mm. and by doing that we really wanted to you know raise the question who is the healthy one you know the the beautiful politician who fights for his people but happens to be a bit insane mm -hmm. <laughs> or the system that tries to use it for their own Gain. Mm -hmm. I think that was something we were looking for. If mm. I can, if I can add to that just a little bit, yep. 
as well about you know the sort of thesis um, in the program uh, bipolar disorder is of course a life-threatening disease uh, you know but but in very short it makes a person you know go up into a mania and then down into a depression and then mm -hmm. back up into a mania um, and what we sort of figured out along the way is that uh, it's a bit like the national soul of Iceland and mm. the economy. You know, it's the boom and bust cycle over and over again, mm. uh, which is very, very obvious in Iceland as well, because it's a it's a country of such vast opposites. You know, it's it's there are glaciers and volcanoes, mm. and you know either the sun doesn't set in the summer or it's dark throughout the whole winter. Uh, you know, it's it's always you know just up and down, um, and. I think this is a universal thing, at least when it comes to the Western economy as well. Uh, you know, um, we, you know, we, we keep going up and then back down and then back up. Um, and what we were really trying to do was just, you know, try to create the embodiment of this, uh, this tendons, mm -hmm. uh, of, 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 of the whole system and just place them in the prime ministry. Mm -hmm. Um, and see how that system itself deals with someone that's behaving exactly like mm. itself. Mm. So ideally the audience will also go through this kind of cycles watching the show. Um, we have the first two episodes in the festival and I um, hope that the minister is going to be available in German television or I don't know, VOD services somehow, somewhere, sometime. Um, Will there be a second, like um, another season, or is this going to be? Because we don't know how it ends, and we're not going to spoil anything. But is there going to be more of Benedict? Uh, well, of course, we can never promise anything, but uh, we promise um, anything. No. <laughs> uh, but yes, we are working on on where to take the show next. Absolutely. Okay. Super. So, Jonas and Birke, thank you so much for uh, joining us today for this short introduction for the minister. Thank you for having us. We wish you all the best and uh, hope to see you soon, live, healthy, and uh, with another show in Lübeck in person. Absolutely. Yeah. Look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.